In this video, we'll define and begin to discuss homogeneous systems of linear equations. Definition. A system is homogeneous if all of the equations are equal to zero. So something like this. This is homogeneous because everything is equal to zero. Now, homogeneous systems have a special property, and that's that they're always consistent. A homogeneous system always has at least one solution. In particular, Every homogeneous system has the trivial solution, where everything is zero. So up here, the trivial solution would be x1 equals zero, x2 equals zero, x3 equals zero. And that is a solution. Two times zero plus five times zero minus four times zero is equal to zero. And likewise, zero minus zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero minus zero is zero. So if you have a homogeneous system, it doesn't make sense to ask whether it has solutions. Instead, we ask whether it has non-trivial solutions. That is to say, solutions other than this. And we don't really have a special theory for homogeneous systems. We just have the same theorem that we have for any system. That is to say that we have only one solution, which must therefore be this trivial solution. If all of the variables are basic and we have infinitely many solutions, if we have any free variables. Let's apply this theorem to this system. To determine whether variables are basic or free, we have to perform Gaussian or Gauss-Jordan elimination on the system's augmented matrix. So remember that each of these first three columns corresponds to a variable, and variables are free or basic depending on whether these columns contain pivot positions. And it's to figure out where the pivot positions are that we have to perform this elimination. We only really needed to perform Gaussian elimination. I performed the full Gauss-Jordan elimination. Now that this matrix is in row echelon form, in fact, reduced row echelon form, its leading entries 
can be seen. And these leading entries are the pivot positions of the matrix. And we see that every variable corresponds to a pivot position. That is to say that all the variables are basic. And our theorem tells us that we only have one solution. We only have the trivial solution. Another way of seeing that by the way, without quoting a theorem, is that we did just perform Gauss-Jordan elimination. And Gauss-Jordan elimination is exactly what we need to do to solve this system of linear equations. And since this is in reduced row echelon form, we can read the solution off. 1x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3 equals 0. x2 equals 0. x3 equals 0. So rather than cite that theorem, we've solved the system of linear equations, and we've explicitly found that it only has this solution. And this solution, of course, is the trivial solution.